All right, welcome back. So, as I previously mentioned in the last video, I've uh, I've duplicated this uh, little farming community uh, on the right hand side of it. So, um, yeah, and we had a couple of traders. I've just paused, uh, paused them or minimised them. And uh, yeah, in terms of trying to save time, I've just told because we've got so many labourers at the moment. I've just told them to start clearing some space here, and we're going to flatten this mountain as well. So, I want them to. Uh, to get rid of the trees around it, just throwing a little stockpile down. So uh, yeah, as regards these traders, uh, we've one of them's brought chestnut and grape, and I think we need both of those. Um, yeah, so we'll just get rid of these traders. We'll take those. Um, bom, 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 bom. How much do I need here? Well, let's just put. 2000 in and bring it down 1875 it should be but let's give him a bit of a tip a trade and dismiss you can go and then the other two uh, guys what did they bring he brought sand more sand and clay I'm just gonna keep topping this up because we're gonna use that many bricks it'll be uh, it'll be worth it 2000 and uh, 4,000 sands uh, because obviously we've got glass and glassware that we need to make so um, why am I overpaying? Oh, I'm overpaying by quite a lot huh? <laughs> okay. that should be 1500 there we go okay so we've got more sand and uh, more sand and clay coming in um, I've noticed iron's running a bit low so we should try and get some of our uh, some of our guys to bring that. And again, wow, I forgot to knock off the walnuts, but yeah, food's running low, so um, let's just take as much as we can afford. It'd be a walnut and fish salad I'll be having, because uh, that's pretty much all we've got. So. Trade, dismiss, and uh, yeah, I'm going to throw some more fishermen in here just to try and bolster us a little bit. Yeah, they just they don't produce a huge amount these um, these resource things. Um, Bit of a blot on the on the landscape as well. The tree ones is okay, but yeah, I'm not too sure if I like these or not. And uh, I think it might be just easier to import them. So yeah, this is coming along. Uh, still doing a bit of the, the fencing around the side, waiting for the houses to be built. And yeah, let's start trying to uh, flatten this out. Again, I don't want to take it too close to there. I mean, actually, we'll probably be terraforming this anyway. So, but. Uh, yeah, for now let's let's just try start trying to flatten everything. I'm going to bring this down here as well. Flatten this down here, and that's where our canal is going to run down. Okay, so um, yeah, everything's going okay. Let's uh, let's put a bit more brickwork down as far as we can take it up here so we want a red yeah. put a red one there that was white wasn't it mm. let's try that again Yeah, I sort of messed up a little bit because um, I should have left an extra space for the hedge. But I still think those those grain silos are they're quite deep, so I think we should also have some room to to put stuff down this side. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, what else are we doing? Yeah, let's just fill that in. 
Now, um, yeah, Murray's uh, he's pretty happy. He's got, he's got his mansion. He's got his fountain close by. He's got food. He's got his minions living down the front here. Um, anything we're missing, really? We've got a couple of little medieval libraries, which uh, see that's nearly nearly full. Um, that is full. So yeah, I think Murray's looking to uh, to build a new church and. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen the great job that his minions did on the on the labyrinth, and then again on uh, on his mansion. He's um, he's got a bit creative and decided to commission a, uh, a quite a large cathedral. And uh, yeah, that um, yeah that blaze that we had down in the explorer camp that was down here it was uh, it was good for Murray, but uh, I don't think it did much for his minions. If, uh, <laughs> he's he's proper slave driving them. But uh, yeah, we want to we want to slap that down and we've got just the thing yeah, I mean it puts this to shame it really does um, let's have a look yeah red ketchup uh, medieval towns where are we looking at this thing here medieval cathedral oh, it is massive look at the size of this it's huge so yes yeah, so we're going to be wanting to put this down again so Murray doesn't have to walk very far or very speedily to uh, to get to church, and I think we'll just we'll put it at the back here. It sort of lines up quite nicely. So so yeah, we'll throw this down, and uh, and don't expect much from this because as we can see, it needs a hell of a lot of stone. Eight hundred and twenty. Look at the build. Eight thousand. I mean, this was two and a half. Um. So yeah. So I think put it down now, and then maybe in five to ten years, they'll. Uh, They'll finally complete it, but we may as well get started while we've got uh, loads of labourers. So. so yeah, let's see how that comes along. We'll try and neaten that up as well. Maybe put some uh, some graveyards on the side or something. But uh, yeah, for now we'll let them get on with that. Um, just need to put a bit of extra road around around this community here. And we could do with extending this here as well. So let's get them to um, just remove some of these some of these trees down here. Right, how are we getting on with the flattening? Okay, they're doing quite well actually. So let's just finish off this flattening this hill. So take it there so it matches up. Uh, it's still it is quite hilly around here, so yeah, let's throw that in. So yeah, we're going to shrink this a little bit because we want it. Um, we want some flat sides on this, so we can put some buildings around the sides. So um, where are we going to flatten it? I'm thinking from this point. Yeah, so let's take this down. Um, to the just fill that in get that flattened off so we can uh, so we can bring our canal up or across uh, to that section I'm just gonna leave these in for the time being just to stop uh, stop anything being built on them any more trees spawning um, let's get some guys uh, in these crop fields, we've bought some more seeds now, so yeah, beans. What else do we want? Soybeans, stick to the theme. Uh, beetroots. Yeah, because what I want to do is I just want to get the, the food up. A bit, and then when we put buildings on the side, we then we can sort of specialise the different types of crops um, that we want to put in. Uh, so yeah, some parsnips. Why not? Uh, flax is that any good for us? No squash. I'm going to try and avoid using the berries because uh, they'll just end up getting 
use for the alcohol production, so we don't really want that. Um, let's put some more sunflowers in. I do like the, uh, the sunflower model. And uh, yeah, throw some more tomatoes in. Help out for the walnut salad. Okay, so they're good to go. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let's get messing about with this canal mod. Let's get rid of this. And coming up close up here. So, where are we going to put this? I'm thinking maybe we could run it just here. Um, yeah, so let's get rid of uh, this section of canal here. Oh well, it would help if I use the right, the right button. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Give us a bit of room to play with, uh, to pull, pull off here and uh, and extend it. I mean, feasibly, if you added something onto this side, you'd get the boats coming in around. But uh, but I've seen before you get a bit of clipping with the boats, so uh, you know on the on the canal. Uh, when you miss the corners, so it's okay if you've got like a, a six or an eight canal, but these four, so you'll probably find that the, the boats just go sort of underneath the sides. Another little tip is if you're um, if you're laying these sort of canals, if you can see when you're drawing lines next to them, it, it just sort of fades out uh, the the colour. So uh, a, an easy way of sorting that out is to just get the same colour uh, again. And just and you can lay it just underneath. Uh, so yeah, Let's spin this so I can see what I'm doing. So yeah, just take that all the way down. Um, why is that not working? We can take it down there at least. Doesn't seem to want me to put it there. But, uh, there might be something there already. But, but yeah, and then when that goes down, then you get the the color goes all the way to the edge. So just a little tip there. Um, Right, okay, they've removed these, left a bit of a gap, so we want to sort that out immediately and just flatten that back off. Right, okay, so if we look at the pieces that we've got available, uh, we're on the, the new style um, on the left, and yeah, what do we want? Yeah, we have these joiners here, so um, how are we going to work this? Let's see. So you can go from like a six to an eight, or a six to a four. So we want to make it a bit bigger than the four. So we'll go from four to six, and uh, it's just knowing where to put the join. So I think if we start with the four and put the three-way piece in there, you know, I might just throw a little, a little filler there, just to give it a bit of room up to the side of the bridge. Um. Yeah, put the. Hmm. Yeah, put the th three way there. And let's see how big this join is going to be. I don't want it to overlap those bridges, you see. But yeah, it's going to do that. So let's get rid of these. Just neaten it up. And back through the menu system. We'll put that one back in. And then put the three way here, I think. There. We'll put the joiner from, yeah, six to four. And, yeah, I think that goes there. Yep, yeah. and let's fill this back in if we can. No, it's too small, so we just need a couple of joiner pieces. Okay, let's prioritize this. How are we getting on for stuff being done? Loads of laborers, uh, 20 of 23 builders, so that's okay. Foods, stable around 40, it seems, at the moment, so. And. Uh, yeah, is everything getting 
squished. Looks that way. I'm just going to take an opportunity while we haven't got a huge amount of resources growing here to flatten that as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's continue on flattening. Let's take it from this corner. Just hook that up there. And yeah, this is quite flat already, actually, isn't it? So let's be a bit careful how we take. I don't want to take it out because we're losing retail space here. So, but I do want a, a nice flat edge. So if we do it here, you see, we're going to miss. This is going to be a little bit of a corner there. Um, yeah, let's take it in a little bit more. Like that and yeah, if we take that, over here and pull this down a bit. So we're going to lose lose a, a few resources while they're uh, flattening this off. But um, it's not really a huge concern. We've got thirty thousand logs, so you know, really, we need to be throwing in another another wood cutter. Um, I'm not sure where to do that actually though, so well we don't need to. I'm just gonna hang fire. How's this coming along? Come on, get built. And get that done. Now these um these guys here are quite a way away from uh, any any sort of resources or anything. Oh, they do look good, don't they? Let's have a look. What's this? Sugar cane, barley, tomatoes, sunflowers. I do like the sunflowers. They look really good. And uh, yeah, these are the um, these are the mushrooms. Um, mm, you know, spots on the uh, on the surface. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms anyway. I hate them. So uh, it's like eating, eating athlete's foot. So yeah. At least we can grow them now if we want to, so that's a bonus. Right, so I think I've done this wrong. I think, yeah, I think I should have pushed this back a bit. So, uh, you live and learn. Let's get rid of it. Prioritize. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, these guys, they're, they're not very close to to anything really, so uh, so yeah, we need to um, we need to give them the trader um, market, and I'm thinking just about one of these small markets here, so if we throw one of these down, let's try and get this central, we've got oh, one gap there, two there, that's annoying, um, where do we want to put these, I'm going to yeah, I'll put it there, and I'm going to do the same on this side as well. Just throw that in. I'm just wondering whether I want to make this a double road or not. I don't think we need to. Uh, let's just pause a second while I make decisions. Um, yeah, no, we'll we'll just leave that. I think as a single. Um, let's check these traders. Oh, we've got three. <sighs> Do we have to buy cotton seeds? Oh no, I don't think we did. Okay, so we'll definitely take them. Trades. Uh, we've got those two. Have we got sort? I think we bought sorghum, didn't we? No soybean, so yeah, we'll take the sorghum. Now, if you're not using, if you're not using the uh, the mods that uh, allow you to grow any crops in any climate, then sorghum, uh, sorghum and watermelon um, 
uh, are two good growing crops, or they were. Um, it, that might have changed now in 1.5. So, but uh, yeah, we're going to take them anyway, just so we can try and get a, 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 a you know all of the seeds. Um, mm, resources. Okay, so there are things I need on the resources. I just can't remember what they are, but. Let's go through, just have a quick look. We definitely need a jade statue for uh, Mora's private garden. Um, I won't mind putting some marble statues in there as well. So let's order a couple of those. And um, what else? What else? Um, nothing really. Yeah, let's get those. Um, dismiss. Let's get those on order, coming in. Uh, more food. Yeah. No, not yet, because it can drop fast if we if our population sort of keeps going up. We could do with buying some more reeds as well, just to keep the, the rope trickling in. I don't want to take uh, any of these shore houses away from creating sand and clay at the moment, though. So, okay, so how are we getting on down here? Let's um, let's flatten this back off. And let's see if we can get this join fitted into the correct place. Let's spin this around so we can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm assuming, yeah, that's where it's got to be. So let's throw that on. Nice and quick, come on, let's get it finished. One piece of stone. So it does take a lot to build. Um, and I think, yeah, see, again, with uh, Murray not wanting to walk very far, he's uh, he's gonna want, he's gonna want a trader here, isn't he? So let's see if we can uh, pop a trader. I'm gonna be using six times on this length now. So yeah, we'll throw a trader in. Yeah, why not? Let's throw him down. So it's a nice model, and it basically does exactly the same as the other traders. It's not minimizable echo as well though, like the others, so yeah, that can prove a bit annoying. Um, yeah, and we're going to need a bridge, aren't we? So let's throw a bridge in, uh, if I can work out where it's going to go. I think the... Yeah, and uh, we have a fisherman, why not? Because um, we can always sell the fish at the trading post. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's pop that in as well. So we'll have a quick look at some of the other things that we can use. They have a, uh, a medieval canal dock um, as well that goes in, and it just offers a, a sort of a lowered piece into the canal, but it's, it's for decoration only, it doesn't actually do anything, so... So yeah, let's uh, while that's getting built, let's have a look at these down here. Let's take these down. Uh, just a guy in each, I think. And make sure that they're topped up vendors up to 11. Um, bom, 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 bom. What else do we need around here? We need some, yeah, some stockpiles. Let's just throw some four up on each side. Join that round the back. Again, because we've got that mod, we don't need a huge amount of stockpiles. So let's just make sure that the, the vendor here has got room to store stuff. Yeah, so we've got three and a half thousand logs on this stockpile, and yeah, it's, it's not even using a, oh, what is that, an eighth of it, a sixth of it, something like that. So, but now we've got these in, let's get rid of that. So yeah, these are looking really good. I do like the uh, the little irrigation channels we've got going down the side. 
Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's have a look here. See how this is coming along. Oh, they do look good, don't they? Um, again, traders, let's take this down to, to one guy. Um, pop another one in there. Um, yeah, firewood. So, let's give him 1500 firewood. And uh, let's give him some herbs as well. Let's give him 1500. I'm not going to give him as many. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's just leave him there because we can't actually use him at the moment. We've got to, we're going to have to build this all the way uh, down here and then again off this and down to the river somewhere. So yeah, let's just crack on with putting some pieces down. Um, I'm just going to put straight pieces all the way down, and then I'll probably remove some and and uh, maybe you know put more training posts or fishing fishing sort of docks along it at a later date but at the moment I just want to get it in and get it joined up to that lake so six a straight piece and then it's just bum 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 all the way down because I want to show you how to, to join them to the lakes as well it's not difficult Some traders. Yeah, well, yeah. Bring me more though. Two hundred iron is not enough. Um, how are we doing for herbs? Herbs is going down quite fast. So let's, let's stick with the firewood. What do we need for that? 1900. Okay, trade. Another one. No, I just can't be bothered looking. No, go away. Probably need you for something, but I'm busy. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Back through the menu system. Just don't want to make sure. Really, yeah, I want to make sure it's all level and coming down. That's why it's always a good idea to to flatten. Uh, the land that you're putting these on because uh, as I say you can the, uh, the sort of canal pass can get clipped otherwise so yeah this piece here second from right it's the medieval canal gate so it's just got a gate on really and uh, you just want to overhang that into the into the um, the lake, so let's get this. Oh, what an idiot. Let's trigger happy. Put that there. Let's remove this piece that I've put down it accidentally. Um mm, yeah, so this little community around here, they're probably gonna need a trader as well, so probably a good idea to uh to stick one down here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Six Trade. Let's put it on this side. Yeah, let's throw it out there. I always like to give a little, put a little bridge um, right by the the, the trader, and uh, and yeah, this this we may as well put another fishing dock there as well. I think we're going to need filler pieces, aren't we? Yeah, two fuller pieces. There we go. Okay. So we've now linked Murray's Mansion down to this lake. Um, we've got our traders in. And a couple of fishing docks. What have we got people fishing wise in here? Yeah, yeah, let's take that down. Just push you up. Just create a bit more food up here as well. And when that gets built, we'll do the same there. 
Um, yeah, okay, we've got our traders in. Our vendors, sorry. So yeah, things are taking shape. Uh, yeah, these guys are going to be moaning because uh, the churches are full. And uh, how's the cathedral getting along? Okay, we've got the foundations in. This could be a number of episodes before this gets completed. Saying that though, they've got all the, uh, they've got all the uh, ingredients, all the resources, and uh, yeah, nearly two thousand. So they're not doing too badly. They're not doing too badly. Uh, so I think we're pretty much coming to the end of this episode as well now. So we've, we've done a bit. We've got the got the canal in. Links it up to the moat. Um, so yeah, next episode probably just going to develop this sort of area around here. Um, we may start on the port. I think I just want to get this done. Um, yeah, get a bit more food, maybe some apiaries, uh, that type of thing. Uh, and we've got a number of models for those apiaries as well. So, and they all do different things. Some cycle uh, through the uh like between honey and beeswax some don't even give you beeswax just honey so you know you can choose and decide what you want and uh and for the models as well um just before we go i'm probably just going to remove that side there and yeah we've had four going around the uh the mansion we've had six coming off so i think we're going to do an eight just so I can sort of demonstrate the different uh, sizes and proportions of uh, the canal system. Um, so we'll need yeah, the, the, the gates coming off. And again, this can be a bit fiddly because I just want to line it up to make sure it's going straight off. Um, will we get away with that? It's tight on. We might do. We might have to move that forward one. So, but I'd, I'd rather it be flush. I'm saying that. No, yeah, it's, uh, I think that's gonna gonna clip. Uh, you try and do things fast, and it ends up taking twice as long. Go away, trader. Uh, yep, yeah, eight. That. And. Yeah, so one back, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think that'll be okay. So we'll just get that. Um, We'll just get that built so it gives us a gives us an anchor. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna probably take the canal over here and then just run it down the side. Link it up because this is a bit closer. And then it'll leave us with this area if we wanna build on there as well. So yeah, okay. Well, thanks very much and I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit.